Did you know freeholds are even cooler than I thought? I mean, holy shit. So today on the Twitch stream, which by the way, if you haven't checked me out, I stream Monday through Friday, usually 8.30 till about 10. Just enough time to drink a large cup of coffee and chat ashes. Follow me on Twitch or follow me here on YouTube. Please and thank you. So we were talking about freeholds. Somebody brought up, well, what happens to my tavern if my node is destroyed to level zero? I had no idea. So we went to the best place for Ashes information, the Ashes Wiki, and found this ridiculous system that I had no idea was even in the game, right? And it's right here. Freeholds may be attacked by any player for a period of two hours following a successful siege against the parent node. So somebody sieges my node, destroys my node. They win the game. Congratulations. For two hours, they can attack the buildings or NPCs or whatever on my freehold. However, players and their allies may defend their freehold for this period of time. Structures and guards may be obtained to defend said freeholds during this period. After the two-hour period of open combat, following the node siege, any remaining freeholds will exist under a grace period where they can go through where another node may take over the zone, blah, blah, blah. You can go through a quest line and get your freehold under the new zone, under the new node. But what I didn't realize until just now, or when I read this, was that after a node siege, there is a two-hour window where you are defending your land. Like, you are standing on your node, on your freehold, defending it against players so that they don't destroy your freehold. And if you manage to successfully fend them off, you don't lose your resources or have to rebuild your freehold or anything like that in a new node, you can then just assimilate into the new zone, into the new node zone of influence. So as somebody who wants to have a tavern, imagine this. Set the scene, if you will. Your node goes down. Boom. It's in zero. Now for two hours, you have a call to arms in, let's say, the tavern's discord, where you're like, hey, patrons of my tavern, this is what's happening. Come on in. I'll, you know, I'll treat you to this if you help me successfully do it, whatever. Let's do it. And then you squat up and defend your freehold against other players. How exciting is that? That is, oh, I mean, that's awesome. I had no idea. I had no fucking clue this was even in the game. Until I started answering questions on Twitch chat. And when I get to the limit of my knowledge, which is a very small limit, a very small amount of knowledge when it comes to the game. I jump on the wiki and we find this little nugget of fucking awesomeness. So, in case you didn't know, even if your node goes to zero, you, my friend, can mount up, squat up, and defend your land for two hours in like a, a small skirmish or full-scale war on your land with your friends, your guildmates, your tavern patrons, and, and hold your line, hold your land Stand on your land, defend your property. And if you make it to the end of the two hours, you save resources, you save time, you log an awesome experience with friends and patrons and guildmates alike, and you get to join the new, the new node and resume business as usual. So, did you know this? Because I sure as hell didn't. What are some other cool little mechanics, systems, that are in the game that just get glossed over on the regular. Let me know, and I'll point them out, or come tell me in Twitch chat, even better. If you know of these systems, throw them down on YouTube below. Please like, subscribe, whatever the fuck. Leave a comment on this YouTube video, or catch me on Twitch and follow me there. We are very close to getting to be an affiliate, which is amazing. So, thank you so much. Have a good day.